Welcome to Theater 101, TDF's guide to the basics of New York City theater. Today we're covering theater etiquette. So you've got your ticket. And now you're wondering, what can I expect from the theater experience? Have no fear. Julie Halston, a theater star who's worked with famous playwrights like Charles Bush and lit up Broadway and everything from Hairspray to Gypsy, is here to answer your question. Hey Julie, I know the show starts at 8, but I could get there at 8.15, right? No, you can't. You gotta get there before 8. A live performance is quite an event, and you want to be a part of that experience. Doors open at 7.30 for an 8 o'clock performance. Get there at least 15 minutes before. Get into your seat. Get settled. Get a snack if you want, if they sell. Read your playbill. Look around at the beautiful theater. Look at the celebrities that might be in the audience. Be part of the whole experience. And then, when the curtain goes up, at 8, you won't miss a thing. I was just wondering, can I leave my cell phone on during the show? Oh, that's not a good idea. When you go to a live theater performance, you want to be able to have full attention, as do the actors. Turn off your phone, unless you're a doctor, and then you can put it on silent vibrate. But no, turn off the phone, and no texting during the show. You can meet everyone after the show and tell them all about it. What should I wear to the show? You know, full glamour attire is always required. There's no dress code to go to the theater. You can dress casually, you can dress up, there's no requirement. However, you might want to consider just dressing nicely. I mean, after all, you might be sitting next to Julia Roberts or Denzel Washington. So, for that night, you might want to spruce it up. I miss dinner. Can I just, like, buy a taco and bring it into the show? It might be best to eat before or after the show or enjoy a light snack at intermission. Can we meet the stars after the show? Well, you sure can. It's a great Broadway tradition to wait at the stage door to possibly meet your favorite performer. And frequently, you will. The stars come out, you can get an autograph, you can get a picture, a kiss. I personally love greeting my fans. And you know what? A lot of Broadway performers do. So yes, wait at the stage door. It's part of the tradition. Thanks, Julie. That was great. I'm having the time of my life. And thank you for watching Theater 101.